and to environmental matters. About 4.2 billion people in the world lack proper toilets, while 48 million Nigerians still practice open defecation. This sanitation crisis poses a threat to the environment and health of citizens. The Minister of Environment, Malam Balari Bilawal Abbas, speaking in a news briefing today on the commemoration of World Toilet Day, revealed that women, girls and children are at high risk of infectious diseases due to lack of proper toilet. Let's now join our environment correspondent for details. The theme for this year's World Toilet Day is Accelerating Change. The Minister of Environment, Malam Balari Bey Lawal Abbas, said the theme inspires every individual to take personal action to help improve toilets and sanitation systems in the country. He said one of the major consequences of poor excreta and sewage disposal is the high rate of diarrhea disease, which is the second cause of high mortality rates among children under the age of five. Malam Abbas said the persistent reoccurrence of annual incidences of cholera outbreaks in some states are also manifestations of inadequate toilet facilities. The federal government of Nigeria is committed to address infestation challenges in the country and is trying to proper management of excrement. This commitment is demonstrated by the President's declaration of the State Emergency on Water and Sanitation water sanitation and hygiene in the country and the signing of executive order number uh, 009 on open education free Nigeria by 2025. That's in the next two years. Equally, the federal minister of environment in collaboration with critical stakeholders has reviewed and validated the 2005 national environmental sanitation policy including his policy guideline on self and is possible. The Minister of Water Resources and Sanitation, Joseph Telumu Uze, revealed that over 40% of wastewater is discharged into environment without treatment. He said some of the untreated wastewater are being used in irrigation farming and the produce is consumed with attendant risk. The Water Resources Minister revealed that Nigeria still remains one of the countries with the highest amount of people still practicing open defecation. I appreciate progress is being made towards the attainment of the open defecation free status in communities and local public areas across the country. In this regard, it is noteworthy that 105 local governments and over 40,000 communities have achieved the open defecation free status. Despite this encouraging development, we need to do more in order to attend the 2025 target date of ending open education initiatives. Both ministers appeal to all national, state and local government stakeholders to take environmental sanitation as a priority by building more public toilets in their domain. They call for more practical steps and actions, saying individually and collectively, Citizens can act as agents of change to ensure all has access to toilets. Likewise, all commercial entities such as petrol stations, shopping malls, are encouraged to launch functional toilet facilities for the public as part of their corporate social responsibilities. World Toilet Day is commemorated on the 19th of November annually. It is a day set to celebrate toilets and raise awareness on the billions of people living without access to safely managed sanitation. Joycelyn Elakeche Ada, ASU Television News.